this is very important for your uh, time calculations and all those things so how you are going to maintain the calendar table are you going to upload or import from your database or data source so what dates we need to maintain inside the calendar table what is the start date and what is the end date so how can so always the end date should be today date okay but if you have a more than today's data in your calendar table there is some time intelligency functions may not work and when you are going to calculate the uh, mtd values ytd values year to date calculations let's say i have data up to 2019 december 31st it is going to take the ytd as a 2019 based on your calendar date how much data you have in your calendar table the max date the max year let's say you have 2019 it is going to take the data up to 2019 so the ytd means it is going to calculate from 2019 january 1st to whatever the updated date is there so obviously in your fact table you don't have data for 2019 you have the data in your fact table up to today january 2018 and 28 because future transactions we don't have only the sales information i have up to today or up to yesterday that's all so then your ytd means it should be january 1st to 2018 to january 28 to 2018 then when you are going to calculate the ytd value it will consider these dates not 28 whatever january 1st to 2018 to today date the time intelligence function will take the the max value in your calendar table let's say if, if your max date is in 2019 2019 december 31st what will happen the ytd value it will calculate instead of jan 1st 2018 it will take from uh, 2019 do you have any Uh, sales data for this date region in your fact table no we don't have right so that is the reason instead of importing the data from your uh, data source you can generate a date dimension table in two ways either by writing a dax functions either by writing a dax functions or by writing m language query also okay so how can we do by using dax go to modeling under new table i want to generate a new date table by using the functions we have a functions this is a date table i want to generate the table name is date table and what are the functions we have to generate the calendars calendar function is there and calendar auto function is there what is the difference between the calendar function and calendar auto function the calendar function you have to specify from which date to which date you want to specify the 
date table so i want this start date as 2015 to 2000 uh, 2015 01 to 01 that is the start date and end date is 2018 to 01 whatever no problem you can give a, a December 31st also then it will generate all your dates for this particular see here I will go to the data table date table This is the date table. See from 1st 2015 to 12 31st 2018. Up to this date. The dates are created. Now we need to add a columns for the remaining. What is the year name? What is the month name? And what is the you can you can add in uh, two ways either you can click on new column so let's say i want to add year name that is the year function you can use this date column you, have, you can use sorry date table date column See, the year is populating and add one more column, new column that is for month name. How to generate month name? We have to use format function. Okay, the month name I want to generate in the three naming convention J A N F E B. So, dim date, sorry, date table. date table date column comma what is the format mmm why this error is coming because of two yeah format what is the value field and format converts a value to text in the specified number format date date table date column mm right okay so this is the way you need to make a month name as so whatever the fields you want to add you can add so this is the predefined DAX function I have to generate the dates okay so let's say I want to generate a table the table name is test data whatever date table whatever you can give so how to write down a DAX to generate the calendar date table by using the calendar function see what is this where days this is a variable this is a variable how to declare a variables in DAX also we can see over here I want to declare one variable the variable name is days and uh, this variable will store this information right so then that variable you can use over here for simplifying your calculation what this add columns will do this add columns will add all these columns to your 
table so instead of using this uh, days variable over here directly you can put this condition this whatever the declaration you are uh, whatever the value you are assigning into this variable you can put directly this part into over here as well okay so we can write down here instead of doing this one okay my table name is date table so i want to declare the variable where days equal to calendar function and the date i want to generate so from which date what is the year 2015 what is the month 01 and the date is 01 okay and from this date to date what is the year 2018 and 12 31st okay then uh, alt enter here returns add columns we need to specify yeah return add columns i'm sorry return add columns and days column days will generate the date and year column so how you will get the year column this is the column name what column name you want to display over here and this is the function then again month number so the month number you will get from this expression then month so the format date mmm it will give john fib all those things i will copy this and put over here see The expression refers to multiple columns. Multiple columns cannot be converted to a scalar value. Year, month, year, month number, month, month number, year, days. What is the problem? I will uh, delete this table. now take new table paste over here okay okay so you just enter it right now it has populated all the first date column is this one and it is generating the dates from this date to this date and year column is this one and month number is this expression month is this expression add columns function will adding whatever the columns you are adding over here into this table and we are declaring a variable to simplifying our code okay okay without adding this variable directly if i want to put over here this one how can we do that one we'll see there is no return okay Sorry. similar functionality directly you can do like this but this expression you can declare inside a variable how to declare a variable sorry alt enter sorry here a variable if you want to declare you have to write down where the variable name i'm going to give days and inside this variable i want to keep this one then you can put your variable over here that's all and while you are declaring a variable you need to write down return here what happened returns done okay so you need to mention in the caps letter so this is the way you can write down a dax query to generate 
date date table okay so the calendar function will generate the dates based on whatever the start date you are giving and end date you are giving I don't know what is the start date I have to give and what is the end date I have to give because in my model from which date what is the minimum date and what is the maximum date in my fact table or some other tables so if you are using another function that is calendar auto function this calendar auto function automatically will do some analysis on your model what is the least and minimum date in your tables any dimension table or fact table and what is the max date in your tables it will identify and automatically it will generate the data but here you need to specify what is the financial year end month so let's say people someone having the financial year end is march 31st some people they are uh, using normal calendar date if the normal calendar date is the financial year ending then they have to give uh, month number is 12 december is the year end or if some people wants 3 okay so they have to use this one so click enter see automatically it has generated date from 1910 because in one of the dimension table i have start this in 1910 so come down to your max date up to what did it has selected the data generated the data We'll go over here and we'll see. Uh, take one card and go to your test data. Take the date. Yeah. This is the minimum date, earliest. So latest if you want to take, yeah. Up to March 31st, 2009, it has generated the data. Because uh, in my fact table also, I have data up to 2009 year automatically it has uh, calculated the max date up to 2009 only the calendar auto function will generate the dates the start date end date based on your model okay so this is in your dax level you can generate the new table so instead of this one if you want to generate a date table in your uh, m query so go to your edit queries okay there you can generate a date table over here if you want to generate a date table go to new source there you can take the blank query okay under the blank query you can put a script of uh, m query this is the m query we have to generate the date table Okay, go to advanced editor. In advanced editor, we don't have nothing because this is a blank query. So you just put this one. Done. It will ask you from what is the start date and what is the end date and what is the financial start month. Financial start month means let's say my financial year start month will start from the April 1st. You can give 04. Four. What is start date? What is the end date you can specify automatically it will populate the click on invoke function it will populate the data so this is the another way by using m query you can generate i will share these two scripts you can generate the date tables